today we're going to be talking about the Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme sleeping bag. If this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. So, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme uh, sleeping bag here. Um, they say it's a cold weather extreme sleeping bag. Um, <coughs> I've used it a couple times on some winter camps and let me tell you from personal preference and personal experience that I would say the ideal temperature rain for this bag by itself. Um, if you were in a tent on like a sleeping pad or a air mattress, I would say maybe, maybe 15 degrees uh, at the coldest Fahrenheit. Um, if you're in a hammock, um, when you're using it in a hammock without an under quilt or you know top quilt or anything like that or a cocoon system, um, I would say that this is probably at the lowest, maybe 35 degrees. Um, I used it last night. We did a little camp out, test some gear, and I didn't have an under quilt. I'll roll in some of that footage here in a minute. Um, but it definitely got a little cold, so stay tuned. Take a look at some of the uh, the in use videos. All right, good morning. For me, that is. <sighs> Coffee from the hammock. February 19th, got down to mid-20s, did the thermometer say. Using the Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme. Um... Definitely got a little chilly last night on the undercarriage, so had to put down my casualty blanket underneath me and then also this uh, sleeping pad uh, to keep the undercarriage there uh, nice and warm. After I did that, it was, uh, it was pretty nice and toasty. I think I'm going to try out the Snug Pack Cocoon next, um, see what that kind of does. I did not use an under quilt, I just have this Trek Light uh, double hammock, and uh, yeah. So I would say, I'm not sure the rating for this, but I think uh, the comfort rating would probably be about no lower than mid-twenties. Danny over here had his military sleep system in his hammock and he said it was nice and toasty warm but that's rated for 10 below at the least at the least I don't know this wasn't too bad collected some condensation that froze actually <laughs> from my bad as last one to camp no Last, yeah, last winter camp, we used, I well, I used the sleeping bag. A lot, lot of different conditions, I mean. Yeah, it was actually, as you can see, there's no snow on the ground here now. 60 degrees yesterday. Yeah, it was 60 degrees during the day and got down to mid-20s at the lowest. Um, last time we went out with this, I had this and another small down blanket, and uh, it got down to about, what, four? 14, 12 or 14. Yep. And I had to uh, almost chip ice to get out. So yeah. So what do I think of the uh, Snug Pack Sleeper Extreme Sleeping Bag? Um, I'd say it's a good maybe spring or fall sleeping bag. Um, it would work really well if you integrated it with uh, maybe an under quilt um, or some other sleep system that you have if you're going to be using it in a hammock. Um, but all in all, it is a good sleeping bag. Um, it's fairly decent price for what you get. Um, you can incorporate a couple other things. I did use this on a other uh, uh, winter camp out with Dan and 
I used this with a small down sleeping bag and a whoopee and it got down to maybe about 12 degrees, 14 degrees and I actually stayed pretty darn, pretty darn warm. Uh, that's without an under quilt or top quilt. Um, this trip here, as you can see, had to get a little chilly in the middle of the night, but all in all it's a good sleeping bag. Um, Snug Pack is uh, really coming a long way with their stuff and I will be having the new cocoon system showing up soon to see if I can incorporate it with this sleeping bag. Um, and use this more of like a top quilt. Um, but, yeah, so if this is something you're interested in, first we had Harleys, now we got mopeds. That's what you get when it's uh, 60 degrees out on the 19th of February. Iowa weather, next week it'll be snowing. Stay tuned for another video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.